What is up, boys and girls? Run the gaming nation, new amateur or MLG pro. You know who it'd be. It's your boy Mike G for the win here in the day. Coming at you guys with the first episode of our one of our mini Battlefield 4 series. I plan on doing a lot more. This is recon review, which will be held every Friday, so weekly. This is number one. Today's sniper rifle we are looking at is the Scout Elite. Now we will be looking at the stats, the kit setup, like what works best, what attachments, what I find, and then the final version which is going to be my final opinion should you use it for what or you know should you use it at all like should you use it for aggressive recon or whatever uh i know this is kind of late i know these guns have probably already been reviewed to death and stuff by other battlefield youtubers and such but and i know hardline is coming out uh this march 2015 but i'm still going to give it my crack i'm going to be doing a bunch of other type of battlefield 4 videos and stuff hopefully i'm going to get hardline i want to get it because it seems like a really cool game but with that said if you enjoyed the episode like subscribe comment and share i'm out peace all right guys we're starting off first looking at the stats so let's see this is the scout elite now the damage Actually, this is a pretty high damage sniper for right here, along with the accuracy. The accuracy way up, the higher, not really that great, but I'm sure it could be worse. It's pretty good. And I was playing aggressive recon in this game of domination, and that's what I could do with the snipers. Unless I'm playing conquest or something, I like to do aggressive recon. So, yeah. And the save ability, pretty low. That's bad. The fire mode, you know, it's one shot. It's a bolt action and everything like that. So the stats look pretty good. The sniper rifle itself with the stats look pretty solid. I get some pretty cool kills in this gameplay and stuff. I enjoy the sniper rifle when it comes to its damage meter and stuff like that. So, yeah. So let's go into part two of this review and let's go to the kit setup. Now when it comes to rocking the attachments and stuff, I have yet to unlock a lot of the attachments for the Scout Elite, which kind of doesn't really make me qualify to do this review, but I'm still going to do it anyways because you know what the fuck. But I either like to use the Hunter Scope or just run Iron Sights. So I use the Hunter Scope if I'm playing long range matches of like Conquest or something. I like that. And I use the, uh, what, uh, the Iron Sight when I'm doing aggressive recon and like TDM or something like that. I really enjoy aggressive recon. So let's get on to the final verdict of the gun. Alright, so after looking this gun over, the Scout Elite seems to be a pretty damn solid sniper rifle. It seems to be really good. I enjoy getting kills with it. It's, you know, sometimes up close it does take two shots. Sometimes far away it'll take two shots. But if you get anywhere from like the upper chest and the head, you know, that's going to be a one shot kill. The damage is really high. So with that said, this is a good snipe rifle for any kind of really thing. Any uh, game that I would guess, probably. You know, if you're doing close quarter CQB or if you're doing uh, long range, slap the hunter scope up on there. So with that said, if you enjoyed the review, I'll see you guys next time with another recall review next Friday. I'm out. Peace.